Amanda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make simple sautéed spinach. So good. Now this recipe in particular is from Eating Well Magazine, so you know it's going to be tasty and it's going to be super healthy and fresh. So let's get started with our ingredients. We have half a pound of baby spinach here, which has been already pre-washed, so it's ready, good to go. That's about 10 cups, like loose cups of spinach. We have one tablespoon of chopped garlic here. Um, we have half of a lemon. We're just going to give it a good squeeze at the end, so you just want a piece of lemon. Um, we have a half of a teaspoon of pepper, a half of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of olive oil, and one tablespoon of butter. Over here, I have a large pot with a lid that's really important, and it is heating right now on medium heat. And what we're going to start by doing is putting in our olive oil, right down there, and then we're gonna add in the garlic. And that's a little hot, so I'm just gonna give it a second because I don't want my garlic to burn. So now it's the right temperature. You wanna make sure your pan's not too hot because we're gonna throw in our garlic and it's you know chopped up into these little tiny pieces and if it's too hot, it'll just sort of like burn and toast immediately and we don't want that to happen. So put it right in here and we're just gonna let this cook about a minute, not until it's brown, but we're just gonna like get some of that pungent, sharp, garlicky taste out. So let's just... Keep an eye on it, but let it cook for like 30 seconds to a minute. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay. Just give it like 30 more seconds. Let this hang out. So now what we're going to do is add in all of the spinach. That's why you need such a large pot. So put in all the spinach. And give it a quick toss. I'm going to use tongs. I just find that this you know, works the easiest, but if you don't have that, you could use a spatula or whatever you have. So give it a quick toss so it's all coated in the garlic and the olive oil. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. And then this is when your lid comes in handy. Okay. We're going to put our lid on, turn up the heat a little bit, a tiny bit so it's more on high and we're gonna let it cook like this for about two minutes until it gets nice and wilted. Okay so it's been two minutes we're almost totally wilted so let's take the lid off because we're gonna let it cook for one more minute with the lid off just turning tossing until it's all nice and wilted. Now this went pretty quickly we're good right now so let's take it off the heat this depends upon how hot your pot gets, how much spinach you're using. Okay, beautiful. So it's all beautifully wilted. The heat's off. Let's pick this up. Now you're just gonna let this sort of drip like any little excess like liquid. There's going to be some that's fine, but anything that like, you know, is immediate, just get that off. Put this into a nice little serving bowl. Oh my goodness, the garlic smells so tasty. So yummy, but we're not done yet. We still have so much yumminess to go. Now we're gonna top this with butter. Who doesn't love that part? So just drop your little pat of butter right on top there. Oh my gosh, it's gonna get all melty, delicious. Now we're gonna give it a squeeze of the lemon. Nice squeeze on the top. Oh, lemon with spinach is such a yummy, fresh flavor. And now we're gonna do our salt. And our pepper. Give it one final little toss in here. Oh my goodness. Look at what you have here. Butter and lemon and salt and pepper and garlic and delicious healthy spinach. So thank you Eating Well Magazine for such a fantastic, tasty, tasty recipe. There you have it. That's how you make simple sauteed spinach. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.